Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to check a capacitor for your outdoor air conditioning unit. So stand by. We'll get started. Okay, what we have here is a dual section start run capacitor for an outdoor condenser unit. This one, particular specs on it are 35.5 at a 440 or 370 volts. And what I'm going to do is show you how to test this capacitor using a multimeter that's set up for testing capacitors. First thing I want to do is switch this over to the microfarad settings, the MFDs, and I'm going to set it on 200. And we'll set that here so that you can see these numbers right there. On your capacitor, there are three terminals. This is your common terminal. This is your fan terminal. And this is your hermetic or the compressor terminal. Now, if between common and run, or I should say between common and the fan, we should be getting 5.0 microfarads or right pretty close to it. Between common and the compressor, we should be getting a 35 microfarad reading or right there at it. 34, 5, you know, right there at it is, is going to be good enough. So what I'll do is get my test leads and go ahead and put one lead on the common. And then I'll put this one on the fan. And that gives us the 5.0 microfarads that we're supposed to have. That tells me that this capacitor is good for the fan side of the capacitor. I'll go ahead and remove off of the fan. Now I'm going to go back to the common and we're going to check the capacitor side, which is a 35 and see what we get on that reading. And we're settling out at 34.9, which is pretty close to 35. So that's how you would test your run start capacitor dual section 35.5-440 capacitor. Okay, for the next test, I'm going to use a Subco capacitor tester. And you can find this in the link below on where to pick this up. It's, it's not all that cheap, but if you, if you do a lot of HVAC work, you're definitely going to want to have one of these. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the leads out. And it's really simple to do. Just take your lead off of the Subco MFD-10. Take one of the leads, put it on your common. And then you want to test your fan side of the capacitor. So you go ahead and put the other lead on the fan. Now you would take and just simply push this button. And it tells you you got 5.0. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, so now we will test the compressor side of this by simply putting the little alligator clip on the hermetic or compressor side of the capacitor and again we're ready to go we just push the button 35 on the dot so that tells us that this capacitor is good now if you've got a 35.5 capacitor what you'll want to do if your reading is somewhere down around 20 25 microfarads and it's a 35 I'm gonna say that that capacitor should be replaced if you're testing the fan side and you're getting a three or lower, I would say it, you need to replace that capacitor as well. One of the other things you'll want to know, if you look at your capacitor on your outdoor unit, if the top of this capacitor is swollen, if it's bubbled up, that's pretty good indication that the capacitor needs to be changed out. It's probably bad and that could be one of your main faults of why your unit's not running. So there you go. That's testing a capacitor with a multimeter tester. 
Now these are this one is a little bit pricey. You can go on Amazon and pick one up for pretty cheap. Look in the description below to the Amazon store and you'll be able to find that meter on my page and it will test capacitors for probably 20 bucks. You can pick up a meter. It's probably a good idea for you to have a multimeter around your house anyway. You never know when you want to check an outlet for good or bad status or checking a switch, checking continuity on a bake element or something like that. So you, you probably, as part of your household toolkit, want to have a multimeter and probably go ahead and make sure that that multimeter has the ability to test capacitors. And you want to make sure that you get a good range on that. I would get a max range for a home meter at 100 microfarads. That way, if you've got a bigger air conditioner that's using something like a 70 microfarad or higher capacitor, you'll have the ability to test it. Okay, well there you go, testing a capacitor for your air conditioner. You know, if you find that you have a bad capacitor and you want to find how to pick one up, I would get the readings off of the capacitor, the exact specifications of what you need. Go to Amazon, pick one up, and while you're at it, pick up a spare. Replace the one you have, put a spare in your closet with your toolbox and whatever your supplies are. You know, later down the line, you need a capacitor, you got one on hand. Save you a whole weekend, when, because it always happens on the weekend. Your air conditioner goes out Saturday morning, you're not going to find anybody to come out and fix it for cheap. So, you know, if you have a capacitor and that's your problem, boom, you put it on, you get your air conditioner back up and running, you're cooling for the weekend. In June and July, yeah, you definitely need that. One of the things I wanted to tell you is that a lot of people will take a regular analog multimeter and you'll put it, you go to your common, with your black leg or, or your red leg on, on your tester and then you'll put it on the capacitor on the compressor side and the needle will jump up and then it'll come back down. That's not going to tell you what the microfarads truly are on your capacitor but it will tell you that that capacitor is capable of taking a charge and possibly it's a good capacitor. But if it's, if it's weak and it's only, and if you're, say, you got a 35 microfarad and you need, uh, say your capacitor is a 35 and you're only picking up 25 on it, and it's not enough to start the compressor, uh, just that little analog needle bouncing up and coming down is not going to tell you anything about the capacitor as far as functioning properly to do what it needs to do. So I would invest in a, a digital meter that has that capacitor testing capability and um, it would be a multi-function so you can do continuity, you can do voltage, you can even do DC voltage if you get a multimeter with AC-DC and that way you can use it around your home for any purpose you need it for and then when one of these goes out you got that capability to test that as well. So. I hope this is going to help you. I really hope that um, you get yourself a good meter that will test these things and I'm, it's my hope that you'll find one that's bad and you'll be able to replace it yourself and save yourself a couple of hundred dollars on that repair. And that's what I'm all about. So until next time, I'm Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon. Thank you.